Okay guys, that's how the engine looks like. <laughs> Look at the size of it. Look at the size of it. This should be the uh, 16 litre or 13 litre, it doesn't matter anymore. It's just absolutely massive. <laughs> Look at the fan. The fan has a reader in there, not just in front. Right? All these are just massive. That's the turbocharger. Look at that, Skonia. Oh, this thing is huge. So this is a, a huge, huge engine. So I want to show something. I keep hearing. Okay, all these, all these are very new to me. So just now, as I was braking, they say, "Oh, the, that was the exhaust brakes." I was like, "What's the exhaust brake?" I felt the car going slow, the truck go, slowing down, but it's not my brakes operating now. We have to change a very different mindset. If these sort of heavy trucks are using our regular brakes or brake pads, right, they're gonna burn them in like a few hours, right? And it's gonna cost a lot of money. And all these trucks are actually assets. They make money for their customers. So you cannot afford to have high cost considerations. So a lot of technology stuff that they built in is to save costs. Is to save costs to have a longer run and all that. Okay, now. This is the turbocharger. That's the exhaust manifold, right? This is the exhaust manifold. Normally, we what we know is exhaust gas comes out, it spins this turbine, this turbine spins this turbine, this one compresses the air, blah, 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 blah. But look at this part. Look at this valve, all right? So what this does is that, this is the brake. Yeah, they call it the exhaust brake. So what it does is that, when you brake the truck under, under, not under heavy load conditions, or when you're going downhill, this activates when you press the brake pedals, right? And then it closes this flap. What it does is that when it closes this flap, right, technically it prevents the exhaust gas from coming out or it reduces the amount of gap that the exhaust gas can come out. And in that way, it chokes the engine and provides braking. Sounds a bit crazy, but it's cost free. It's a free solution. Instead of using up your brake pads or using the retarder, I'm going to explain the retarder again. That's also a braking system. This thing is free. So this, in, in, in a lot of long distance drive, downhill and all that, you don't even need to use your brakes, you don't even need to use your retarder. This thing alone can slow down your truck. Very clever. Okay, what's a retarder? I, I don't have the gearbox over here. The gearbox is here. Now, these type of trucks, if you order one that is uh, for city use, for bus and all that, a lot of stop go, then you will have uh, like a, maybe like something like a top converter gearbox. But if it is for these long haul, top converter won't, doesn't make sense, it just uses too much fuel. So it will be a traditional gearbox with a flywheel and a clutch and it clamps together and then all you get is an automated, automated uh, 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 you can call it an automated manual basically. There's an actuator that operates the clutch and changes the gears automatically but then the, the architecture is not like a torque converter transmission so these types so it saves fuel now at the end of the transmission there is a retarder what does the retarder do it links to the transmission it, it's, it's, it's just like a torque converter but they don't use that to move what it does is that when you want more braking to be used it's called a retarder that chamber with that fan will be pumped with oil not engine oil, not gear oil, another component oil, I don't know what's that. I, I, would, I would believe it's some high viscosity oil. Oil will be pumped in and slow down the spinning of that. And that provides braking on your, from your transmission. So it's a form of transmission braking. Right? So and in that manner, it also helps to, to, to drastically slow down your truck without using the, the last one which is which are the brakes anyway so pretty pretty interesting the stuff that they built into these engines to save costs and uh, huge right it's absolutely massive look at that yeah can't believe I'm reviewing an engine <laughs> all right cheers uh, so put this behind right yes but I have a huge hit Do I need to hold anything? Yes, you just hold this. Okay. In the, the middle. Yes. Okay. 
So aim, aim at the aim at the different cap size. Sorry. Aim just use the pointer, the red box pointer to aim. The yeah. pointer to aim. Yeah. No, yeah. yeah. Aims no, the, yeah, 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 yeah. Aims to your eye. Yeah. Yes. So which one is the most expensive one? <laughs> So far it's R, but I think you should go to the, you have driven all these before, but uh, you go to the L cap, let's start with the L cap. L cap? Yes. Okay, so I'm now in the L cap. Yes. L cap is the lowest... Is that uh, the adjust on the focus? Adjust yes. on the... How to adjust the focus? Can you see it clearly? Nope. No, still no. No. But it's very clear in the screen now. I mean, maybe oh, because of, uh, you wear glasses. Of, uh, yeah. No, 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 my glasses. No, it's nothing to do with my glasses. I think if I... Okay, now it's clear. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so have a look around. You mean the girls? Oh, <laughs> uh, wow. So if I stand up... Damn! Yeah. So if you look at the L cap, uh, yes. it's usually used for urban transportation. Yep. Urban transportation will carry, like, say, waste management, for example. Yep. And you will see that space is, is, is required. So if you look to your uh, right, yep. just look to your right. Yep. You see the two seats next to you? Yep. Yeah. These two seats, usually in other caps, they are all at the back. But this is sitting four in a row. Oh. So that you have more space for, for, for the carrying. Cruise, right? Yeah, for the, you put the crew, but then ah. you have more space to carry more goods. In this case, waste. La. In this case, it's waste. I saw that little window down yeah, there. That's, that's a very right. good feature. Yes, that's very important. It's a safety feature. Yes. Because uh, pedestrian crossing and yeah, con uh, and bicycles, motorcycles, and all that. I think all trucks should do that. Yeah. That's like the McLaren Senna. <laughs> this, this one, the crew usually they will hop on and hop off. Uh, quite often. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So now let's go to. Let's go to the crew cap. Crew cap. You'll see a lot of uh, bomber application. So why is this big space here? That's the where the, the engine tunnel is. Wait, just now that one is raised up, that's why the engine tunnel is not there, is Yes, it? the S-cap oh. one is flat floor because the engine is uh, way at the bottom. Ah. You look to your back, you can see the crew crew area. Oh, that's very spacious. Yeah. It's a long cap. Wow. That's nice. Okay. Okay, so then if you go to the P-cap, which is slightly smaller than what you test drove just now. Okay. Yeah. But one of the main thing is, if you remember, we said that we brought the A pillar for forward to you, lowered yes. the dashboard, yes. but we also moved the driver's seat closer to the window. Okay. Yeah. So that's because you can stick your head out and try to look down. Oh. Yeah. So that means you can see the entire, uh, yeah, entire cap on the side. This is very important for visibility. That's nice. Yeah. In our previous version, the seats are a little bit more centered, so you won't be able to do so that. So you now know what I'm looking at, right? Yeah, we can see it on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, this is the P-cap? Yes, yeah. this P-cap, yeah, and then you have the G-cap. G-cap. So it's a bigger cap. Which you have tested just now. Which you have tested just now. Ah, I drove this one. Yes. Ah. Oh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and then you go to the R cap. We are not in the G cap. Yes. Okay. So you go to the R cap. You are actually higher. Hey, there's no S cap here. No, there, there isn't. Okay, okay. So R cap is higher. There's a bed here. Yes. And uh, wow, very tall ceiling. And yeah, if you look now. Nice! Oh. <laughs> I don't know if I'm aiming the camera correctly because I can't see the uh, oh, can't okay. see the screen. Basically in front, right? <laughs> but what, what I was looking at, you'd be able to see here, just yes, now you yeah. point, right? Yeah. Okay, 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 cool. That's very nice. Uh, I wish Malaysian government allows civilians to buy trucks, huh? right? Yeah. Then well, you, get, you guys get a lot more business. You can. As long as you get the right permit. Damn. Alright. Even even mobile can access, right? Yes, I'm even sure, right? Can so it's yeah. for the boss to see where are you? Yes. <laughs> so so this is the, the summary of mm -hmm. all the different vehicles. 
yeah. uh, in Malaysia. Is this a staging or a real one? This is a real one. Oh. And so we had, the client has actually signed a consensus for us to share the data. Nice, by, nice, yeah. nice. So nice 35 client. means what? There's 35 vehicles uh, in that oh, small in that area. Oh, I see. Wow. Wow. Right. It's, all, it's all his. Yeah. Yes. So top ah. Malaysia scientists are when that ah. has been oh, zoomed. So you can hold me in. It, wow. it will actually break it into all and, the different... And the, your client is with what? Consortium E Mutiara. Yes. You're a Kotobaru based... Uh, I, I need to make friends with him. Yeah. <laughs> Mainly bus 77 bus. trucks. <laughs> Uh, uh, bus, buses, buses. Ah, ah, ah. Right. So okay. if you press the vehicle mapping, yep. Yep. you show all the summary of the vehicles. Yeah, you nice. They and they will actually prompt mm. uh, any things that need to be highlighted. Oh, oh wow. maintenance need to be carried out. Oh, maintenance are you need to be carried out. Driving without GPS signal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> high, high brake temperature. High brake. Yep. So somebody right. can call him and tell him, hey, dude. What's with the braking? Uh, uh, yeah, can you exactly. ease off on the brakes? Yeah. So let's see where's this guy. Does, okay. it, does it show speeding? Yeah, yeah we, it, we will shows. know. Ah, and, but and that's, where, that's where it becomes a bit... Speeding uh, is good. <laughs> this is where, again, you have to be really careful with data. When, yeah. you, when we are so rich with data, the, the first thing you want to do is not jump into conclusion. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have to be really careful. There is a reason why they do what they do. Right. Yeah. So yeah. we gather the data, we analyze, and then we have to discuss with the customer. Oh, right. is there a reason why there was a lot of speeding or why there's a lot of posting, you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. So that, that's one thing as it's a human flow. The moment yeah. we get data, we see it there, oh, what's wrong? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know? Right, so you right. Really makes careful. sense, makes sense, yeah. yeah. Right. Cool. Oh, look at that, everything right. there. So we can see yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, jeez. track. Right. That means, wait, can I ask one thing? Yeah. So, so this technology is only available with, of course, with your Scania, but trucks and buses, right? Yes. And uh, Malaysia, I, I presume there is a lot of buses, coach buses, those that always fell down the ravines and all that, speeding and all that. Those are the locally made buses without all these kind of high tech systems, right? I don't know for sure, but yeah. we definitely feel that. You because the government has been talking about black box, black yes. box. This is essentially a black box, right? Yes. I think formerly SPAD, now APAD, mm. they have a program where they encourage all, strongly encourage yeah. all buses to actually have fleet management systems. Mm. Or all buy Scania buses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this is, so for example, when, when we, so this is one example where you can see even in the timing, Yep. You can tell this is what uh, speed, uh, speed yeah. Yeah. and fuel, fuel. level. Oh. So fuel level is the blue color one, speed yeah. is the orange one. You can see this particular driver yeah. from time to time, yeah. whether how much speed he has used. And you can see that there's a zero here that means it will be stopped. Stop. And then yeah. after that, yeah. Yeah. you can Damn. check all this. Yeah. For example, let's check yep. uh, one, Mr. Uh, you check one. Right. Yep. So this is his time duration, yep. right? Yep. So sometimes one vehicle will have several drivers. Mm. So for the specific time, let's say uh, okay, 3 o'clock, right? we can actually zoom to the specific yeah. location. Oh, yeah. right? wow. It was around there. <laughs> wow, it right? was around there at yeah. 3 a.m. But at this speed, right? See guys, all these drivers, they are our heroes, you know, <laughs> delivering the goods 3 a.m., 4 a.m., yeah. 2 a.m. Yeah. Without them, the, the, the economy won't work, yeah. it won't function. You work around the clock. Yes, man, these are our heroes, man. That's an enormous amount of data. So, we, yeah, it will provide a summary of driver evaluation as well. Yeah. Wow. Right. So, we, we actually have Attention a standardized global people. ranking system. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is a So, it ranks based on how they use the truck, how they drive, and all that, yes, right? It's a combination yeah. of all these factors. Oh, I see. Uh, speeding, idling, uh, idling Malaysia will go now. Or either, right? So but you guys have that. Don't know what system that you showed just now. What is it called? The the one that allows the engine, the, the, the aircon to run. Cap coolers. Cap cooler. Yes. So you guys are the only ones with the cap cooler integrated, integrated. integrated yes. So that even if the truck is switched off, eight hours of sleeping time under 22 degrees Celsius. Yes. That's Gunting temperature now. Oh, Gotong Jaya temperature lah. Huh? You can sleep ah. Huh? So if he had done a bit more close control, he's likely to have been. Hey, yeah. Because that's uh, what brought it down. Right? Yeah. If we. If this is very subjective cruise right. control right? Right. because mm. uh, 
some of the good drivers. Attention to Mr. Tana Balan. Mr. So, uh, give you a quick understanding on these things, Scania maintenance and flexible plans. So, basically they are new trucks, right? They come with two years of this flexible plan. And what does it do is that it has the data uh, from the car that always monitors your usage. And then based on your usage, they will know when is your service interval and how much time you need to how much downtime your truck will experience because trucks makes you money right in order to to save you when they give you an example so we go to asia then we go to singapore parambasa this route so look at this route this route has a very high average speed only some start stop in singapore and the urban areas so basically even though it's a long distance drive the wear and tear on the engine the gearbox the retarder i'll explain the retarder later what is it an air filter is very minimal that's why it can stretch your service interval even up to over eighty thousand km and it will give the company an estimation so three weeks before you need to go in and service your car they will actually your truck they will actually tell you your downtime will be 6.6 .6 hours for your truck so that you can plan it better and save a lot of time basically that that's that's most time they take to do it and then your your truck will be back in uh, making money for you uh, another example would be this route uh, they were showing this route this is a very short route but in terms of the uh, topography there is an elevation and all that it's a hilly road right and the average speed is very different so this is this takes up a lot of load on the uh, the the engine gearbox and especially the retarder. The retarder is something they use to stop the, the truck, all right? So the service interval greatly reduces, right? But the, the time needed for the downtime for the truck is only 2.9 hours because most of it, it will be servicing the retarder. So that's somehow they actually actively, dynamically helps the, the, the companies to save money to have save money because of the lesser downtime on their trucks and better planning. So these are all the kind of services that Scania provides for their customers to maximize their usage. Yeah. In this case, yeah. you have a complete solution. A we have had customers who experienced up to 9.8% improved, improved, improved profit from saving costs. Uh, yeah, saving costs and yeah. increasing the revenue. Yeah. We also because your truck is always out the there the making the money. Yeah. yeah. The vehicle is pushed backwards, the windscreen is rounder. So, yeah. Very, very logical. Yeah. Yeah.